Hi, I'm Rebecca, Director of Product Development at Badger, and I'm here to show you the organic extra virgin olive oil that we have in all of our products. And I'm here in the Badger kitchens because this is also the same oil that we use in all of the organic lunches that we have here every day. And next, I'm headed to Spain to visit the estate where the olives are grown and the olive oil is made. Here we are in beautiful Andalusia. Finally made it to the estate. Uh, we're here where all of our olive oil is grown and processed, Solo Romero, and uh, looking forward to learning all about what they do here. And we've taken some time to go up to the top of the estate where we can have a beautiful view and just to take a little bit of a look at these absolutely healthy organic olives that they're gonna harvest and make into our olive oil that we use in all of our products. The first person I met was Enrique, an owner of Sol Romero, who explained to me that his family has cultivated olives organically on this estate for seven generations. Enrique believes that society deserves safe products of the highest quality, without chemicals, pesticides, or additives. Following this belief, Solo Romero became the first USDA-certified organic olive oil producer in Spain. After learning about the history of the estate from Enrique, we met up with Carlos, who would show me around the estate. If you see on the other side of this road, which is the end of our farm, uh, you see an olive farm that is treated differently than the way we treat our farm. If you look at, at the ground and, and the soil in our farm, you will see grass, you will see moss, you will see uh, leaves, you will see diversity, you will see life, actually, okay? If you look at the, at the other farm, that's that ground. They use chemicals to, keep, to kill the grass, and that, as, as I said before many times, that kills everything. That will kill the diversity and the organisms living in the, on the ground. And it will give them uh, problems with erosion. Every time it rains, they lose ground, the ground falls. So that's, these are the two different ways to treat olive oil and to grow olives. And uh, what we have here is the, the remains of the olives that we saw earlier, and also uh, branches, uh, branches from the tree cuttings, and the uh, organic um, goat uh, manure okay. that we that we get from our from the uh, our sister's farm, which is nearby. It's in the next town. Um, if you see here, you can pick this up and maybe break it up. Break it up. You see the branches. You'll see the leaves. You'll see everything. You see all the remains. You can smell it. It's it's natural mm -hmm. organic fertilizer. I mean, it's, it's it not... It smells like dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when we think it's good enough, we just put it aside. And when the, when the tree needs need it, uh, we just put it down again on the, on the, uh, on the trees, on the, on the ground, so the trees can feed from it. So you have the production of the olive oil and the farming all here in one place. And mm -hmm. how does that affect the well, overall that... quality? <clears throat> What does what that does for us? Uh, we control every aspect of the of the olive growth to the commercialization of the olive oil once bottled. Okay, we we do the agriculture, we do the production, we do the storage in the in our cellar, in our own cellar, in the same facility. We do the bottling and we do the commercial aspect of it. Okay, what we get with that is that we can control uh, the quality of the olive oil. We don't have a supply chain actually. It's it's, just... it's all us. We yep. do everything. Uh, we don't have to buy anything from the outside, any fertilizers, pesticides, anything. Mm -hmm. This is um, a very efficient form of harvesting the olives. They 
come right off the shaker tree and then all of the other olives that they haven't gotten with the machine there, they just get off the sticks. Now uh, we're in the truck with the olives. We're gonna try to experience a day in the life of an olive. So here we are, short, well, as Carlos said, no supply chain. Everything's done here. They harvest the olives. Uh, once they harvest it, it goes in the truck and we're gonna see how short it is to go from where it's harvested all the way to where it's produced, which is not that far. We can see it from here. We are uh, at the processing facility. It didn't take us long to get here. Only a couple minutes from where they were harvesting the olives. So we're gonna go inside and see what happens to the olives to make it into olive oil. Carlos brought me into their state-of-the-art processing facility to see how the olive oil is made. Carlos explained that the process is simple. The olives are cold-pressed, then the oil is separated from the pit, fruit, and juice. They then ensure that each batch of oil is absolutely perfect before sending it down to the cellar, where it is stored under nitrogen at a controlled temperature. This is a tote of our olive oil, and this is what will be shipped to us, and what we'll put directly into our products. After a full day of touring the fields and the production facility, we went inside for a formal tasting of the olive oil that Badger uses. I sat down with Francisco, the farm manager, who explained to me the unique qualities of the Badger olive oil. Francisco explained that Badger olive oil is made from olives that were in their peak of ripeness, a fantastic oil with medium intensity and harmony, and an ecstatic incantation. It is the best kind of oil to use, with the greatest amount of health benefits. It's been absolutely wonderful to be here for the past couple of days, here at the estate of Solar Romero, and to have the opportunity to meet Carlos and Enrique and Francisco and to learn more about their commitment to harvesting olives and processing them and just everything that they do to make the olive oil as special as it is. And here it's a single estate, which is really important to us because having a single estate, we've learned that they really take care on every step of the way, that they take care of the trees, that they grow the trees, that they harvest the olives and bring them straight to a, a place where they process it here on the estate. And there's never more than a couple of hours between when the olive leaves the tree to when it's processed and made into olive oil. And that just makes all the difference in making a wonderful, fresh, really powerful olive oil that has all of the nutrients and vitamins and antioxidants that is so important for us uh, at Badger and our products. And after being here for these couple of days and learning about it, I'm more impressed than ever and really certain that this is the best place that we could get our oil from.
Badger home, there's a hole there. And I, I don't actually know what it would look like here, but who knows? Maybe there's a little badger living under this tree. Oh!